Welcome back to John's Films, where I got my hands on a Nikon Z9. Absolutely fantastic camera, and we're going to take it for an 8K shootout today with Nikon in RAW, in high profile, in normal profile, against H.265 footage. Let's go check it out. As you can see, I've been busy, but we're going to focus on the 8K footage on the left in this one. And really, it's a comparison between 8K in log, in RAW, and H.265, because if we zoom in here, on the left, we have a high bit rate for NRAW, and on the right, the normal bit rate. We can see that there is some sort of aberration, chromatic aberration or otherwise fringing that happens around pretty much every one of these squares. And I thought, wow, that that's surprising. But we have to remember, we're getting exactly what's coming off of the sensor. Now adding H.265 in the top right and popping in, you can see, wow, no fringing in the H.265. It appears to be a cleaner image, but the white balance got thrown off a little bit too. So John, what gives? Why is the H.265 a cleaner image than what we get out of the RAW? We have to remember what's happening here. For H.265, we're taking the RAW sensor data and compressing it down. For the in-RAW that we've recorded in camera, we haven't done that. And it's that compression which actually cleans up the footage for us in addition to storing it in a smaller sized format. We have the capability to do that ourselves. Let's now use DaVinci Resolve to render H.265 from the high quality in RAW and see how it compares to the native in-camera H.265. Well, here it is, Resolve render on the left and camera render on the right. I really can't tell that much of a difference. And that begs the question, why would I bother with RAW in the first place? Well, RAW gives you a lot more flexibility in post. You do not tear up your image as quickly when you're trying to color grade some more extreme gray. Further, RAW is much easier for you to play back on your computer because all of the data is there. Meanwhile, with H.265, your computer needs to decompress it, decode it, and then display the data up to the screen. It's now that I tell you I do this type of analysis all the time. If you'd like to see this again, please click subscribe, click like. I'd love to have you around for the next one. Either way, thanks for watching and have a great day.